for Mr. Matt Roboto. All right, guys. I know I say this all the time about how humbled I am every time we have a Legacy Club event and we see our Legacy Club community, but I have extra goosebumps tonight. I'm gonna keep this really quick because three years ago, a little over three years ago, the, the, the magazine that we're celebrating right now, the current issue, uh, that's our three year anniversary issue. Tonight is the cover reveal, which I think everyone knows who's on the cover. We didn't hide it too much tonight, but the cover reveal and this cover was put together by one of my best friends who was actually the first member of the Boston Man Legacy Club community. This guy, when I started to tell him what I was trying to do, wanted to do, he's a little bit of a prick to me at times. <laughs> he shut me up, pushed a martini towards me that had his credit card inside the glass and said, I'm in. I met this guy years ago. We started, he was doing this thing in the early 2000s that he said, it's gonna be, it's radio, it's not really radio, but it's the internet with audio. He's like, it's called a podcast, kind of weird, I don't know. Um, he's since been called nationally the pod father. <laughs> One of the inventors of the podcast. Him and I would blog about the Celtics in the early 2000s. He actually would come two games with my season tickets because he couldn't get credentialed because they were, like, it was just hard to do if you didn't have a quote unquote real job. This guy stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it, was our first member, introduced me and got the greatest sports writer of all time, Bob Ryan to write for us. He got me in front of Danny Ainge when the PR, the vice president of media for the Celtics said, I can't get Danny Ainge to do stuff with ESPN or Sports Illustrated. And he got us our current cover, Cedric Maxwell. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell a quick story here about, about something that Nick said to me the other day, yesterday. Because Nick used to always call me his best friend. And he looked at me, he goes, Matt, Cedric Maxwell's my best friend. It's true. And I was just like, I used to be that, but that's how much this guy means. Let me introduce our first ever Boston Man Legacy Club member and the guy that's responsible for this and so much more, Nick Gelsow. You want me over here? All right, we'll go wherever. Told you he's a prick. Yeah, uh, I had notes, but it was hot in here and I sweated. And, and <laughs> so, what I will say is Matt's right. Uh, I want to add, I don't know if you said it or not, but I covered, I covered the Celtics for a long time when they were the Celtics. And yeah, you got that, some of you guys. So anyway, uh, I grew up every day, every year, my parents would get me tickets to see Larry Bird at Boston Garden. It was the greatest thing in the whole world, going to the garden, pretending I was a Bostonian, right? And uh, then the Fleet Center opened and that was a tragedy. But Matt introduced me to the TD Garden. And it started my whole career, which was in sports broadcast, which introduced me to this guy here. He was on my wall doing this to James Worthy, and I thought it was the best thing that ever happened on earth as a seven-year-old kid, you know? Um, for you that you use, I sound like a Pennsylvania boy. For you guys that don't know, uh, Google that. Um, but Cedric, I can't wait till next month. This is the best storyteller in Boston. He is a Bostonian by, all, by every measure. I mean, he's from North Carolina, but when you think about it, recently he had a, a book, he wrote a book. He came from John Havlicek as a rookie to um, today, Jason Tatum. He's covering the team. He's the only legend really left with the team, short of Sash Sanders, we should honor. And that's what it's about, and I think that's what this club is about, right? Sorry. Legacy. And Max tells the story of what it is to be a Bostonian, and he doesn't even know he's doing it. Quickly, because I don't want to take too much time, well, although I could you. talk all day. Am I right in front of the picture of no. something I'm not supposed to be? Introduce, introduce what you made today. Oh, this video. I don't want to yet. I want to still talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's always been telling me what to do. We bought the tickets. It was okay, man. <laughs> no, truth be, truth is that uh, I, I want everyone here to know that isolation destroyed me. And that guy got me through it for COVID. This is the first time I tied my shoes and put a suit on. Who's to me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> so I, I, I had to tie my shoes today and hope that I fit in my suit, and I did. Um, I didn't fit in the belt. I don't have a belt. <laughs> uh, but Max got me through it because every day he called with a story and uh, how are you doing? And that got me to be here today. And similarly, yesterday I was at the photo shoot or the day before, which is what I'm going to introduce now, a video for that. And Matt forced me to go. But I want to thank you all for being here. And I hope you'll all show up to see Cornbread Maxwell. I think Red would be upstairs. I don't know if he's rolling over or clapping. I think he's clapping when our back because that man represents everything that Celtics pride is and, and, and that Boston is. So God bless. Let's, let's watch the video. Leadership, power, guidance are God's gift to us as men. We have to cherish that, not abuse. I prayed this morning to be a better listener. It didn't work so well. <laughs> I've been blessed. But that's a slippery slope. And it's wrong. You know, people don't know that side. We did not come this far to just break down and lose now. In 1981, uh, during Larry Bird's first championship. You know, I was the MVP during the season. I was a player. story that Cedric Maxwell told me the other day. So when Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, the greatest front court that ever existed, joined the Celtics, as was in this video, Cedric Maxwell was the man in Boston. But he believed, and this is the 75th anniversary of the NBA, 75th anniversary of the Boston Celtics, Cedric Maxwell believed in something that was bigger and greater than himself. And that was the Boston Celtics, and that's winning championships. And one of the themes of this winter cover, a theme, and it's a theme of why we started this, the heartbeat, the basic fabrics, the DNA of what the Boston Man Legacy Club community is, all of you in here, all of our members, you guys believe in something that's bigger and greater than yourselves. The past two years, what we went through, our Legacy Club community, we were the first ones to do an organized event. John Higgins right here in front of me, he runs the Boston Small Business Support Group. I mean, we started doing events, risking getting arrested, risking getting fined. We didn't know what was gonna happen to us, but we knew that there was something bigger and greater than ourselves. That's the heartbeat, that's the feel of everything that we are. Cedric Maxwell said it to me during the photo shoot. And something else, which is bigger and greater than what we are, is our featured organization tonight, the Big Brothers, Big Sisters yes. organization. 
we are going to be doing multiple events, multiple sponsorships with Big Brothers Big Sisters, and I really want to thank everyone that sponsored tonight. We have our sponsor board over here. Like, this is a hard time of year for a lot of people. Businesses are still struggling. There's a lot going on. It's the holidays. Everyone that gave just a little bit to help sponsor Big Brothers Big Sisters and this event this evening, it means the world, the absolute world to me. And here's where we're at with Big Brothers Big Sisters. And this, when I was told this, it literally made me cry. There are over 300 young boys in Boston alone that are waiting for a male mentor. That there's no, they limited guidance, in some cases no guidance. And our partnership with Big Brothers Big Sisters, and it's one of the feature stories coming up in this magazine, which is gonna be written by Dave Wedge, by the way, New York Times, Wall Street, Wall Street Journal bestselling author. Um, it's a drive to motivate men, give men that extra nudge to volunteer to become a big brother. I signed up tonight. And you were the second one that signed up tonight because I was the first. <laughs> the guy's the third. So it's just, but this is what it's all about. A mission, an organization, bigger than greater than ourselves. It's everything that we have. I mean, I could go on and on and on and talk about everyone in here that means so much to me. And it's just, this, we are a community first. Everything we do with the magazine, we have, we have the best, we have the best writers in Boston. We have Bob Ryan, we have Dave Wedge, we have Thomas Hare right here, who's writing the cover story on, on set of so Thomas Hare, this guy right here, he, he'll ask me. I, I find it funny when he sends me questions. He's like, oh, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm like, you're better at this than me. And I'm a fucking good writer. I was like, you're better at this than me. But uh, the thing with Tom, it's from LA. Diehard Laker fan. So, so let, let me, but let me, let me think. Cedric Maxwell said to me the other night, shook my hand, he says, I know everyone that writes for you. He's like, you he assigned the right man for the job for this story. I cannot wait to read your story, Tom. But guys, let's get back to it. We have so much going on. The, we're gonna run this right back. This issue is coming out on Martin Luther King Day. And I'm gonna end this on one final thought that's coming out in this issue. It's, we like to tell, in Boston Man Magazine, we like to tell the stories that, about everything that's good and right about our city, good and right about our community. And there's something happening in the fall here that not too many people know about. And it just blows my mind that this story hasn't been told. Martin Luther King Jr. met his wife, Coretta Scott King, here in Boston. A lot of people don't realize that. We are going to be having stories, untold, undertold stories, about the King family here in Boston. Uh, we've been blessed to get some exclusivities that we're gonna write about in this issue. But this beautiful view that you guys are looking at at the Union Club tonight, overlooking Boston Common, the first statue tribute to Martin Luther King Jr. called The Embrace is coming out in the fall right behind you. And we are gonna tell the story about that. This issue, winter 2020, 2022. Coming out, Martin Luther King Day, January 17th. And Cannot wait to celebrate this release. Love you guys. Thank you.